In this lecture, you are going to learn how to install the MongoDB shell, Mongosh, on Windows. Before we jump into this video, go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership and get access to all of the courses we've ever created. That's over 2,000 hours of content. You can either use the Mongo shell or the Mongosh shell. Mongosh is the new and improved version of the Mongo shell, and it is the recommended one, especially since eventually Mongo will be deprecated and Mongosh will be the standard. So to get the Mongosh shell, go to www.mongodb.com slash try slash download slash shell. And it's completely free here. You find the MongoDB shell. You can also just search this up and make sure you're on the official MongoDB web page and go to the MongoDB shell section. Here you have available downloads. Latest version is 1.0.5. The platform, you want to select your platform of choice. Now in this lecture, we're showing how to install on Windows. So I recommend getting just the regular Windows here, just the zip package instead of the MSI. So get the zip package, which is just the regular Windows 64-bit platform, and press download. That will allow you to download the Mongo, the Mongosh zip file. You can immediately open it if you'd like. Okay, so there it is. Now you want to double click on that. You want to extract this, the contents of the zip file. So you can hit extract all in order to extract all of the contents. And that way you can then go in here and you already have the Mongosh shell right here. Okay, so you can double click on that. Your Windows Defender may prevent it from running. So you want to add it as an environment variable on your computer. So here I'm going to copy the path to this Mongosh application, this exe file. So I'll hit copy path. Then I'm going to go into my search, into my taskbar. And here I'm going to search for edit the system environment variables. So you can just search for edit environment variables. And you want to make sure you select the system environment variables. Okay, then here we are going to click on environment variables and click on the path. So you go to your user variables for your, your user. My username is Glitty. So here I'm then selecting the path section and I'm going to hit edit. And you want to make sure that you add Mongosh to your environment variables. So I already have it added here. I've just pasted in the path to my Mongosh exe file. Okay, and you can do that by pressing new and then just pasting that right in there. Okay, so now I have two, like I can delete one. So that will allow you to directly access this exe file from a terminal. So I can press OK and close that. And then I can open up my command line application or command prompt that are all the same thing. Here I am in a new command prompt and I can now access mongosh just by using its command. Okay, so here I'm now using the Mongosh shell instead of the regular Mongo shell. As of now, you can use either Mongo or Mongosh, but eventually in the future, Mongosh will overtake Mongo. So here you have the connection. So this is the traditional link to MongoDB, localhost port 27017, that's for MongoDB. We have MongoDB version 5.0.2, Mongosh version 1.0.5 as of now. And you can read more information about the shell at this link. So here we are already in the Mongosh shell. We could already use some kind of database, like new database. Okay, so it's very similar to the regular Mongo shell. It's all the same commands, but it's just the look of it and some of the functionality is just a bit nicer, but it's all the same commands. All right, and that is how you can get Mongosh, the new and improved Mongo shell, right here on a Windows computer. If you can't add it to your environment variables, you can also just open up the exe file. As long as your computer's virus protection doesn't prevent you from doing that, then you can open it manually as well. Just manually open the exe file. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited Membership where you can get access to over 350 courses that we've created.